Hey, quick update on the Victron Venus OS on a Raspberry Pi, open source. This is the dashboard, which you should be all familiar with it. The solar generator T-Box, or maybe you're not familiar, but by the way, that's the dashboard online on the Victron homepage. I can log into that with my Raspberry Pi, as, as you see in which I talked about in this video. So you don't need to have a GX Touch 50 or a Serbox GX or whatever they call it. Um, this is just a Raspberry Pi connected to my two components, which I have in my solar generator, which is like this. Here, I just want to show you right now. Yesterday, I came back from a camping trip and I had it plugged in all the weekend. I also had it connected, had a constant internet connection, so it was uploading all the information real time, the whole time. So I was able to track it when I was not at the campsite, I was somewhere else, my wife didn't like that at all, but hey, it worked out. Here in this one, we can now see particularly dashboard, solar generator, T-Box. What happened yesterday, as soon as we left the campsite, drove back, came here, plugged it back into the solar panels, yesterday and today charging, and I wanna show you what it did for tracking. So the dashboard, as we can see it, battery is at 100% right now, PV charger, zero watts. Explains maybe because there's nothing connected right now. I have to change back to today. You can see this morning at eight, I plugged it back in, because overnight I don't have it plugged in. I wanna see more information, so I'm going into the advanced, advanced loggings. This is just from today. So this morning I said that between seven and eight, I plugged back in. So here we can see it's, what is it, seven, it's at 8.06, it starts picking up the sun. So that's what I can see it was today. And now let's look into yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I wanna see the filter, yep, that's good. Here we can see this rhythm, this weird connection. That was the fridge actually, because the fridge was plugged in. And uh, the fridge was turning on and off. Well, then I moved into the sun more, so it pulled more energy, it needed more energy. I plugged in the solar panels as soon as we arrived home. And here you can see it, it charged with 10, over 10 amp. And that's pretty, and that's pretty cool what you can see. As soon as my mouse over on one thing here, it hovers over also the other diagrams and you can see in the drawings. The MPPT state shows you also if there was some solar panels attached to the solar charge controller or not. Here you can see it's off, so nothing was connected. You can see the bulk charging time it's really nice to understand also what happened and what did not happen when you go to the next day we can see we have the bulk charging absorption and also the float charging which um, gives you a good indication what happened to your battery and uh, how full is the battery it's really cool it's a pretty pretty cool dashboard there you can log everything you can log as many days as you want to i think really cool really cool so if you have more questions on what you want to see raspberry pi is in the open source venus os so you don't need to buy another component except for the usb connection cables which connect from the Victron components to your Raspberry. Then it's just transferring all the information. It's pretty user-friendly, I really like it. They did a great job. Thanks, Victron, really, thank you. If you have more questions, what do you wanna see about it and what I can explain to you, let me know. Thanks for watching, tschüss.